Welcome to Choice Classic Radio. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and help keep this show alive by donating at choiceclassicradio.com. For more of your favorite old-time radio shows, join us on our companion podcast, Choice Classic Radio Detectives, where we bring to you tales from the greatest detective shows the golden age of radio had to offer. And now, with 91 surviving episodes broadcast on NBC Radio from 1934 to 1957, we bring to you Lights Out. Ironized Yeast presents Lights Out, everybody. <laughs> Lights Out brings you stories of the supernatural and the supernormal, dramatizing the fantasies and the mysteries of the unknown. We tell you this frankly, so if you wish to avoid the excitement and tension of these imaginative plays, we urge you calmly but sincerely to turn off your radio now. This is Arch Obler. In these days, the jungles are full of the whine of machine gun bullets and the chatter of monkey men with 25 caliber automatic rifles. There was a time, though, when the sound in the jungle was that of insects and the raucous call of jungle birds. Men went into the tropical forest for high adventures or to make money. It's of these times that our story is tonight. But first, Frank Martin. Today, any number of Americans who seem to have everything they need may be underweight and jittery, under par and frequently tired. And in many cases, this is due to a deficiency. Yes, a deficiency of vitamin B1 and iron. Yet pleasant little ironized yeast tablets give you both these substances when you need more of them. So many folks who did now thank ironized yeast and its two-way help for glorious new pep and strength and pounds. So remember that name, friends. Ironized yeast tablets. And now... Lights out, everybody. The jungles of the upper Amazon. Dixie! Hey, Dixie! You don't have to shout. I hear you. Hey, Dixie, look. Hey, look at this. Look at this one. Look at it, I tell you. Uh, another butterfly. Yeah, look at these wings. Look at them. Better if it had wings big as an airplane to take us out of this hellhole. I bet I'll get ten francs for this one. <laughs> if we get out of the jungle alive. Oh, I'll get out. Aye. You mean we? You wouldn't leave me here? Oh, uh, don't worry, Dixie. You get in this with me and you'll get out of it with me. Uh, it's good to sit down. Until the ants begin to eat you. Oh, cut it out, will you? Can't you do anything but sing the blues? Uh, I suppose I should be happy. I should sing a song because the sun is burning me up, because the insects bite me, because I'm here in this devil's hole half the world away from my home. Cut it out. I think I'd like it any better than you do. It's our only chance, see? Catching these bugs is our only chance to get the dough and get out of here. But the sun beats... You think the sun's any colder working on the mines? You think the sun's any colder sitting out there on the beach tearing your heart out every time you see a boat heading back? Tell you, Dixie, the jungle's the only chance we have to get out of here, and by the devil, I'm taking it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I know it's as you say. Our only chance. Sure it is. Now snap out of it. Let a couple of days like this one, and we'll have caught enough of these bugs to head back to the coast. But will we get through? Listen, Dixie, when I say I'm getting out of here, I'm getting out. But the natives say... Cut it out, I tell you. Nothing's going to stop me. But if we do get out, how do we know that Mr. Renat will buy the butterflies? Listen, he said he would, didn't he? Oh, what a man says. Yeah? But why shouldn't he buy them? Gives us a franc apiece and then sells them all over the world for plenty of dough. But who would waste money on such things? Don't you know nothing? Schools, museums, they pay plenty of dough for these jungle butterflies. But why should anybody... Oh, forget it, I tell you. 
Yeah, hot enough without you shooting your mouth off all over, all over the time. Now, lay still, I tell you, and forget it. All right. I'll forget it. Joe, huh? I seen you laugh to yourself. Why do you laugh? I was just thinking. What? I think of what you said before about a butterfly with wings like an airplane. Yeah. Funny, ain't it? Two big guys like you and me. Guys that shot the works from us and the murder. Both of us depended on what? To get us out of the jungle and back to where we came from. <laughs> Handful of blue and red and purple butterflies. Yeah, that's the way it is. Mm, funny, ain't it? If anybody told me a couple of years ago that I'd be chasing bugs, I'd have slugged them. The bugs are all the chance I got now. That's right. You know, it's a funny thing. When I was a kid, I used to chase butterflies, too. <laughs> Dinky little white ones all around the empty lot and back. Of the... What's the matter with you, Dixie? <laughs> what are you staring at? You... You didn't see it? You see what? What is there to see but a... Natives? No. Then what? Then what? From behind that tree. He looked out at me. He? What were you talking about? Who looked out at you? A spider. And I think it was as large as a dog. Can't sleep either. Oh, it's so hot. Gee, it used to get nice and cool about this time of night where I used to live. Joe. Yeah, what's the matter? Did I... Did I see it? You starting that again. But I must have seen it. I, I must have seen it. It was all so clear. Look, I tell you, it was nothing but a monkey hanging there. Spider. But I saw... Go on, the heat's frying your brains. Go on to sleep. Yeah. Sleep. I'll try. Okay. Uh, that blasted mosquito got it under the netting. You yeah. get it? You no, get it? No, no. I got it. <laughs> Another one? Uh, hole in the net and... That's what's the matter. Uh, might as well get up and fix it. <clears throat> Blast that stuff. It's falling apart with mildew. Joe! Joe! What do you want? Do you want? Don't go too close to the edge of that clearing. What are you talking about? I'm just going to fix the net and so that... <sighs> Joe, what? Joe, what is it? Joe! Yeah, but you... you screamed. Yeah. Well? I saw it, too. I was sitting at the edge of the clearing in the moonlight. <sighs> yeah. Spider as big as a dog. Tighter. Pull the line tighter. Here. Yeah, that does it. Okay, come on out of the tree now. All right. Now watch yourself. Don't shake that tree too much. That trap door's set on a hair trigger. Yeah. Now it's done. Yeah. <laughs> that cage ain't strong enough to hold it. You can run a knife through me. But but what if it doesn't come here again? It was here by the tree the last two nights, wasn't it? Yeah, but what So if... it'll do it again. Only this time it's going to stay by the tree. But what if the trap failed? Don't no, start that again. I tell you, one jerk and his fine from where we're sitting, the whole cage will fall right on him. <laughs> then, my friend, our troubles are all over. I tell you, Joe, I'm afraid. Afraid of what? Getting out of here and getting someplace where we can live like men? You afraid of making money? Money? Listen, for a spider that big, I could get enough cash to float home with silk shirts on our back. 
Think of it. A spider that big? We'll clean up with it. No, Joe, no. I say, let's get away from here. Oh, <laughs> scared you, Dixie, huh? Well, it told me. I tell you, this blast of jungle has spit out a gold mine for us. But, but the trap. Are you sure of it, Joe? Sure, sure, I'm sure. We'll catch him. <laughs> and it won't be butterflies paying our ship fare home, Dixie. It'll be the biggest spider in the world. <laughs> That's all right, huh, Dixie? <laughs> but are you sure of the trap, Joe? Strong, right? Yeah. I wonder what time it is. Stars are gone. Uh, getting up morning. Yeah. It was always earlier before. The trap frightened them away. What do spiders know about traps? Uh, you said yourself they're clever. Don't be a fool. But you said yourself... Just talking, that's all. There's a fear in me. Cold and sharp as if... Wait. Huh? The edge of the clearing. It's coming. Stay quiet. Joe, let him go. Quiet or I'll kill you. Don't pull a trap. Quiet. It's looking at us. Another step and it'll be right under the... There! I got it. I got it. Oh, look at it, Dixie. Drug. And it's mine. The biggest spider in creation. I'll get all the money I need. <laughs> oh. Well, Dixie, what's the matter with you? Come on, why don't you say something? Trapped. And it doesn't move. Just looks at us. Ladies and gentlemen, we leave our Lights Out story of the spider for just a moment to look in on an American girl who might be you. The postman is calling, and she says, Bills and advertisements. Seems like I hardly ever get any other kind of mail. But what can I expect? I don't write letters either. I feel too tired and jittery and run down to do much of anything these days. Well, now, if more vitamin B1 and iron is all you need to help build yourself up, Get ironized yeast tablets. Vitamin B1 and iron? Why are they so important? Here's why. When you don't get enough vitamin B1 from your food, you may lose your appetite, not eat enough to keep up your normal weight and strength. And when you don't get enough iron from your meals, you may be weak and pale, frequently feel only half alive. And ironized yeast tablets supply both vitamin B1 and iron? Right. These easy-to-take little tablets have benefited any number of folks who suffered from these shortages. So try ironized yeast tablets if you need more vitamin B1 and iron. See if soon you aren't saying... I feel wonderful. I've gained weight, got back my old-time pep and strength. Now I have the energy to do all the things I used to enjoy. And now back to our Lights Out story of The Spider. Joe. Eh? Uh, how... How many days since... Well, say it. Since we caught the big fella? <laughs> three. Yeah, three days. You haven't said it? You're telling me. Why do you... Because I'm playing it smart. Pretty soon that thing won't be caring much about anything. Then I'm going to slip the bottom of that cage and off we go. They say such creatures can live for a long time without eating. Not when they're that size. I figure that sitting out there in that sun all day, well, in about a week, it won't care much what we do with it. Joe. Yeah. How could such a creature be? What do you mean, how could it be? You're looking at it, ain't you? But such a spider. <laughs> it's there. That's all that means anything to me. But such a giant creature. That's it. It's a giant, ain't it? Well, you've seen giant human beings in circuses, haven't you? They just happen, that's all. That's the way this spider happened. So black. 
Yeah. The midnight special, ain't he? Those big, hairy legs. Once I saw an octopus. Huh? Devilfish. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. This one looks like a, a dry land devilfish, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, will that make a billboard at a circus sideshow? Will we clean up? The legs, the strength they must have. Mm-hmm, not when I get through with them. Look at it, Joe, be honest. Huh? Isn't there a strange fascination when you look at it closely? What are you talking about? Its eyes. Well, how they shine. So what? As if there was a thought behind them. You starting that again? All these three days, it sits there so quietly. Its eyes like burning flames just watching. Cut watching. it out, cut it out. If it is thinking. I'm afraid of what it is thinking. <laughs> Hot in it, Spider. Yeah, plenty of hot. <laughs> yeah, Dixie couldn't take it anymore. He's off looking for a cool spot. But me? Uh, I didn't want to leave you alone, Spider. <laughs> I didn't want to leave my meal ticket. <laughs> You're going to be a big-time attraction on the boardwalk in some big-time circus, Spider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're a screwy-looking thing, Spider. They won't believe you until they see you. The fella, it's gonna cost them plenty before they do see you. <laughs> hey, Spider. How did you move? Spider. You're not dead. Get a stick, Spider. Bless you, you're not dead. You can't be dead. It's been only a week since... You can't be dead. You're my chance. You can't be dead. Curled up with your legs over you. Blast your move. I'm reaching and see. I... <laughs> Let go. Let go of me. You blasted devil. Can you fool me? Let go. Let go of my arm. Get away. Let go. Oh. Dixie. Dixie. The spider. Come on, Dixie. Suddenly so quiet. Joe! Where's the man? He said he'd be here. He said... Buddy. Buddy, what... Dried up. What? Joe! Joe, come quickly. I found a body. Joe, come quickly. Must see who? <gasps> Joe. Joe, it's you. Joe, how did this... What? spider. But how? Gone. Gone from the cage. And what he did to you, Joe. Might come back. Why do I stand here? It might come back. Gotta get out. Yeah, get things together. Butterflies. Take boxes and get out before... Something move behind that tree. No, it won't get me. It won't get me. It won't get me. Twisted. Must have broken my. No. Oh, gotta get away. Crawl. Gotta get away. Gotta get away. Gotta get away. I did get away. I crawled miles. I did get away. Clearing. Someone to help me. Crawled at the house. Someone to help me. So dark. Oh. Tired. No strength. 
strength to call out, crawl and find someone to help me, and I'll be free, free. <gasps> That's something. What? A body. Joe. Joe, you, but how, what? Back in the camp, I'm back in the camp. Crawled all night in the circle, back in the camp for... No! Get out! Get out before... Oh, my leg. No, 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 can't crawl anymore. It's out. What? Behind me, it's behind me, waiting to jump on my back. No, don't! Nothing. Isn't there? If I could only crawl again, if I could only get away before... The moon coming up bright, no, I'll see. I'll see what... Not here. Only you, Joe. Empty flesh over there in the moonlight. Blast you to the devil, Joe. You brought me here. You were right to you die, but that spider won't get me, not me. It's gone now. My leg, it will get better. I will get away. Yes, I will. I... Spider, come back. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no closer. No closer. No, no. Going back. What? Well, what? On Joe. Crawling over him. But Joe is dead. Why does he... What is the spider going to... <gasps> Spinning a web over him. Turning him around and around like a fly. Covering him with that thick silk. Spinning a web of silk over in Joe. <gasps> Sleep? Sun. Morning. Morning. It is morning. I'm alive. I'm alive. Someone coming. Get a hide. Who? So heavy a walk, it can't be that devil spider. It must be one of the savages. they will help me. See who? Joe. It is Joe alive. Joe. Joe, I'm here. Joe, I'm here. Wait for me. Joe, why do you stand there? I must have had a dream. All that happened, yes, a dream last night. Oh, it's such a funny nightmare to tell you. Joe, why do you just stand there? Why do you just look at me? Your eyes, the sun shines in them. They hurt me. Don't look at me like that, Joe. Your eyes so dark, so big. I say, closer, closer, my friend, come closer. I have such a happy thing to tell you, closer. I hear you. I like what your eyes are singing to me, Joe. Yes, I come closer. Uh, you keep telling me that happy thing. Uh, yeah. I'm close to you now, Joe. Tell me what your eyes... Your hand. Why do you grab my arm? Your other hand, my other arm. Why do your fingers hold my arm so tight? They hurt me. Another arm on my shoulder. Joe, what? Another arm holding my neck. Joe, so many arms. How can it be? Joe, it is you. I see your face, but your eyes bigger and bigger. Sun so strong in my head, burning my head inside. Is that why I see such crazy things, Joe? Joe, why don't you say something? Your eyes bigger and bigger, burning into my head. Now your face is changing. Joe, it is you. And why doesn't your face... <sighs> Joe, that sound. Your face, your arms. Spider... Yeah.
You are the spider. The spider. Your eyes fooled me, didn't they? Made me think I was seeing Joe, but all the time it was you, Mr. Spider. They're wonderful eyes you have, Mr. Spider. I'm not afraid anymore. Isn't that a joke? Your black arms pull me close. I see the poison dripping from your fangs, but I'm not afraid. It's very funny. When the worst thing really happens, you're not afraid. I'm not afraid. Your fangs. Closer. Closer. I'm not afraid. Quite deep. Quite deep. <laughs> Now, Mr. Obler, what's the moral of tonight's story? Stay away from spiders? Yes, especially from black widows. No, Frank, our story tonight was just in fun, which reminds me of vacations, of which few of us are going to have any this year. And speaking of vacations, I'd like to tell you about a very amazing vacation I once had, visiting haunted houses. But that after you've had your say. Why go on suffering from vitamin B1 and iron shortage? if that's what's keeping you underweight and on edge and frequently feeling all in. Ironized yeast gives you both vital substances. They've been of help to any number of folks with these deficiencies. Of course, there are cases where a rundown condition may be due to other causes. If in doubt, by all means, consult a physician. But if more vitamin B1 and iron is all you need, remember... Pleasant little ironized yeast tablets are sold on this no-risk, money-back basis. If you don't begin to eat better, to feel better, and so sleep better, the cost of the first bottle will be refunded to you in full by Ironized Yeast, Box IY, Rawway, New Jersey. And now, what's this about a vacation in a haunted house, Mr. Obler? Houses, Frank. And after that vacation, I was badly in need of something our government wants most very much these days. Nurses. Now, here's some facts, and please listen, because they concern each of you. Unless the nurse power of the entire nation is reinforced by the enrollment of 65,000 students in the schools of nursing for 1943, all of us face a real threat to civilian health. Therefore, beginning immediately and continuing through the spring and summer months, nursing must be considered America's number one woman power shortage. I'd like to say some words that the government said. 65,000 young women must dedicate their lives so that others might live. Now about haunted houses. Well, I visited all the legendary haunts up in New England, but, well, I went through the moss-covered old piles and creaky-floored structures and weather-beaten homes and all the places where the souls of the unhappy departed are supposed to walk through the night. <laughs> what happened? I caught the... A violent cold. Oh. And met a little old lady. Oh, who's she? Well, you'll meet her next week in a play titled Little Old Lady. And to all of you, I have a very, very cordial invitation to an amazing little old lady next week. Yes, tune in next Tuesday again for Arch Obler's eerie story, Little Old Lady. And if you need more vitamin B1 and iron, be sure to try ironized yeast. But remember, there's only one ironized yeast. You'll know it instantly by the yellow and orange package and by the big letters IY on the container and on each tablet. It is later than you think. Shoe white, shoe bright, whitest shoes I've seen tonight. You can say that about your white shoes this spring. Just clean them with Energene Shoe White. It's made with the whitest pigment obtainable, only the very whitest. Energene Shoe White spreads easily, dries evenly. So, keep your white shoes in good wearing condition. Keep them looking right with Energene Shoe White. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. That concludes today's episode. We'd like to thank you and remind you to donate at choiceclassicradio.com. Remember, your donations make episodes like this possible. <laughs>